Hello guys, Oscar here, and welcome back to another Redstone tutorial, where today we're going to be talking about how to make a door or whatever with a secure pass that only you can access. Alright, now to start things off, a quick little demonstration. Um, this whole thing, it's not very secure, it's just an item. But this could be uh, renamed anything, so really you can make it more secure than this. But basically you just put your item of choice, whatever your secret uh, secret pass is, hit the button, and there we go. Any other item won't work, and uh, like for example if I take some stone bricks, I don't know why I got infested ones, <laughs> that's kind of funny, it will not work. It won't even, it won't even take the item. And uh, by the end of this video, you'll be able to make your own. Now to start this build, you want to start with your dropper. This will be facing down, and you want to make sure you put it where you want to be able to access it. I'm just going to build it up in the air so we can see uh, very clearly how it works. And uh, you want it facing down like this. After that, you want to get a hopper and point it away from your wall or whatever. So I'm going to do it like this. Um, so if you're standing here for it to access it from here, it'll be pointing away. Or actually, no, that's not where you want it. You want to put it on this side. Sorry about that. You want to be have it pointing away from the, the side with the redstone. That's where you want that. Next you want to take a block and go underneath it like this. This could be any block. Um, or actually no, it needs to be a solid block and then it goes like that with a comparator on top. This is going to become the item filter that makes it so only your pass works. Uh, next you want to take two blocks out like this, a block down like that, and then a block like this and uh, run redstone along the top. And then you want to put a repeater like this, and then a redstone torch right here, which locks it. And then you want one more hopper like this, or however you want that, that'll redirect towards where you want to collect your item, your pass. Now we need to set the filter. You want to take this top hopper, the one that has the uh, the one that has the comparator right next to it, and open that up, and take four of your barrier blocks, whatever. Whatever that can be, it's basically anything that's not your pass and that's not going to be going through the system. So if you have something like stone and someone throws stone in it, that'll break it. So instead, it's, what I recommend is taking whatever junk item like dirt and then just renaming it to just a random key smash or whatever. And then getting rid of all the ones that you don't need. So you'll have only exactly these four. Next, you want to take your secret pass, which actually I forgot to uh, set. If we go here and get rid of that. You want to take your secret pass or whatever it is, and you want to put a, a stack of them in there. That'll uh, get down to 41. Uh, so really you should put 42 in because there's this, always going to be one right here because of the way the hopper works. So you might want to put 42 in just to keep it like that. But now our filter is set so that no other, no other things will go through. Um, after that, you want to take your button, which you probably should have done already if, if you had a decent person doing a tutorial, which is not me. And uh, then you want to take your redstone like this, or a block like that I mean, and then a redstone torch like this, block down underneath actually, and then this can go, um, this might actually be better on the other side because you want to uh, have this hopper go where you want it, and then that'll be on there, that'll be locking this hopper, so even when you try to put this in, it won't suck any items out, even if you put your right secret pass in, which I can't find apparently, because <laughs> I got rid of it. Even if you put your secret pass in, it won't suck it out. That way people can't just like put in whatever item until it finally works. They have to do the right one. Otherwise they'll be stuck there with like one item, hit the button. One item, hit the button. It makes it a lot more secure. Now you want to take your hoppers again and just extend them out. I like to uh, build mine out this way, just a few blocks. And then this could lead to pretty much anything you want. Uh, but you just want to make sure it's something better than this room here because this is not a good room. And uh, once you do that, you want to just take a, a place on this side like that, and then I like to do it a block away just so that it doesn't uh, interfere with this redstone at all, and taking a comparator out like this. That I will run into a block like that, and then do something like this, which is a pulse extender. You can see right here, if we do a little, a little pulse, it'll extend that pulse, which is exactly what we want, so that our door or whatever output you have uh, stays on for a while. That's optional depending on what you're doing. It might be like you shoot an arrow out at someone. You don't necessarily need a long pulse for that. But that's what I like to do because usually the, the most common thing is to do a door. Um, now you want to build out your floor so you can uh, actually plan where you want, to, want, want things to go. I'll do mine like this. And that should work. Let me just do a little test because I'm not actually confident in my own abilities anymore. Oops. Did not mean to do that. Hold on. Alright, so I'm just going to do a little test to make sure I didn't mess anything up. 
and we should have seen something go down here. That's strange. I don't know why. Yeah, that's exactly why we test. Let me troubleshoot that real quick. Oh, don't mind me. I'm just stupid sometimes. <laughs> you don't want to put a full stack in here. You want to do just one. That way it'll not um, send in a bunch of items. So if you see right here, we've got 63. And when it does that, all 63 start, start filtering through, and then they stop after this. But you can see now there's 42, which is not what we want. So instead, uh, be smart about this. And um, there, just do 41. And then make sure you put your pass in one at a time, because otherwise it might mess up a little bit, and that's just not cool. But either way, you can see this thing does slightly work. We do need to do a little bit of an adjustment right here, which is a little bit embarrassing because I'm the one doing the tutorial, but I'll iron that out real quick. All right, I figured it out. The reason why is that there was only one signal strength here because of uh, the one item coming through, so it wasn't actually getting all the way to the second one, which is why the pulse extension works. Now it's hooked up to a repeater, so the pulse extension should actually work. And if we throw an item in here, Yep, there we go. So that actually works. I also extended the pulse extender a little bit. That's optional. Once again, cater it to, to whatever you need. But uh, I'm going to be using that just to have a little bit of a longer door. So now we know this thing works. Um, I'm actually going to drop this floor down because it's kind of ugly having it that tall. But that's your own personal preference. All right, there we go. That's a little bit better. Um, but now, uh, now this is a little bit where you can get creative. Um, you don't necessarily have to follow me block by block. You might want to just to practice like I do sometimes. Uh, great way to le re learn redstone, by the way. And uh, you just want to take your output with the pulse extender or not, depending on what you do, and just link it to whatever you want to do. I'll do uh, a little piston door, I think. I think I will start on camera as a little test to myself, doing something like this. We will do, let's do fence gates. That would be kind of cool, or fences. So we'll just do something like this. And then we want a knot gate. This is for my own personal preference. I mean, obviously, you can copy it. Like, that's why I'm doing this. But uh, we just want to be doing this, like that. And then this needs to go on top like this. And I just realized there's a problem with that. Let me change that a little bit. Okay, just rerouted the redstone a little bit. That should work now and allow the hoppers to come through. That's why I needed to stop. And uh, this is obviously not secure. I mean, it's Minecraft. People can just break it. But, I mean, that's, that's against the Minecrafters code. So, if we do something like this, not that, We'll just do something like this. It looks a lot more secure. And if we get our secret pass, which I don't have on me, let's uh, steal one from the filter. Uh, pro tip, if you ever need to uh, get in, just uh, like if you're trying to hack into someone's base, you can always just access this hopper line and put any item in past the filter. And then that'll be the that'll open the gate. You can see right here, we've got ourselves a little, little thing. Now I'm just gonna, well, now the last thing I'm going to do is extend this floor a little bit. This is again, once again, just uh, tailored to whatever you need. It doesn't have to be exactly what I'm doing. And uh, I'm going to take a little barrel like this, put it there, like that. And then this will collect our passes after we're done using them. And this could be our diamond vault or whatever. And uh, yeah, we can see right here if I steal some more secret passes from here because I can never remember to. Keep them in my inventory. We go right here. We'll get in. And there it is. There's two of them, actually. And I'm just going to pretty this up a little bit because I didn't realize you could see the pistons underneath outside of the very top face. But actually, I can't really get this one. Either way, it's a little bit of a thing. I think it looks pretty cool. And then let's just try to hack it. Let's say we have some infested stone bricks, which I don't, once again, I don't know why they're infested. But either way, hey, wait, we can't get in. Why is that? You didn't even take it. And that's because the filter doesn't filter those, obviously. There we go. That's our little thing. This could be your diamond vault. This could be a trap. It could be anything you, you set it to. But the key thing is it's a, it's a little bit of redstone that's a little bit customizable. And the whole thing is just really secure. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed this. And uh, hopefully you guys can build this. If you have any questions, feel free to leave those in the comment or the, the comment section below. I almost said the, the like the comments as in like an Instagram thing. I don't know, I trip myself up sometimes. But yeah, if you have any questions, leave a, leave a thing in the comment section. And uh, that brings us to the end of the video. So with that, I want to thank you guys for watching. It really does mean a lot to me. And if you haven't already, I'd like to ask you to consider subscribing. That'd mean a lot too. But in the meantime, that's all I've got time for today. And I'll see you guys in the next one. See you later.